everyone. So here I am doing exercise 6.2 fourth question. This is from interior chapter of class 6 and the question here is find the sum of and they have given four questions to solve. Now whenever you are finding a sum or the addition of integer we have a few rules to do this like few rules we have to follow to solve the problem. The first one is when they have a same sign. Suppose you are adding a two integer which are, which are having a same sign like a post plus and plus. Two integers having a same sign plus plus or if they are having a sign like minus and minus then what to do. So just simply add. If they have a same sign means so you have to add them. You have to add these two numbers. Then what will be the sign of the final answer? It will be the same sign. If you are adding a two positive integer the answer will be plus and after adding the number if you are adding a two negative integer we have to just simply add the number and then put minus sign so if we have a same sign always addition and the sign will be again same it's like a same everything is same just to the addition that's it sign will be also the same thing now what happens if signs are different like if they have a plus minus or the opposite like minus n plus then what to do so in the case of different sign they we have to always subtract them okay you have to subtract these two integers then what will be the sign of the final answer so the answer uh, the final answer will gonna have a sign it depends upon the greater number not the greater integer greater number for example uh, it's a small example we have minus 4 plus 2 you can see minus 4 is negative integer and 2 is positive they have a different sign so we have to subtract them so it will be 4 minus 2 which will be 2 then what will be the sign so if you see here look at the number not the don't look at the sign just look at the number we have a 4 and then we have 2 which one is greater 4 is greater but what is the sign of 4 it is negative so the final answer we're going to have a minus sign that's it okay whichever number is greater and what is the sign of that number you have to put that for the final answer now we're going to apply this rule and we're going to solve these four questions so the first one we have here is 137 plus minus 354 now you can see the signs are same or they are different they are different sign which means we have to subtract it so this will be 137 minus 354 okay or you can just exclude this step you don't have to write down you can directly write the answer so when you subtract this obviously we cannot take 354 from 137 we have to do 354 minus 137 when you're solving or when you're getting the answer so when you subtract this two number you will get the answer 217 after subtracting you will get 217 okay we have subtracted but what is the sign of this answer you can see which number is greater 137 or 354 it's 354 is greater right and what is the sign of 354 it's minus so you have to put minus sign here that's it then the next question it's minus 52 plus 52 so I'll just put this in brackets now so two different signs means we have to subtract right so subtract the numbers so you can see it will be 52 minus 52 or you can just directly subtract the numbers you can write you can exclude this step so 52 minus 52 will be 0 right when you are subtracting a number with itself the answer will be 0 then the next one we have a three integers here the first one is 312 then plus 39 and then plus we have 192 now to solve this we're going to first add the positive numbers that is the last two numbers the both are positive integer so we're going to add them so 192 plus 39 you can add when you add this you will get here 9 plus 2 is 11 and then we get here 13 and then 231 okay so minus 312 plus 231 now next step here is we have to check 
uh, the signs are same or not so you can see one is negative and one is positive so they are both are different sign different sign means we have to subtract it so when you subtract this two integer that is 312 minus 231 so when you subtract it you will get here 81 okay so you just take a borrow from 3 and then you solve it you will get 81 so answer we got is 81 but what is the sign of final answer so which number is greater here 231 or 312 312 is greater and the sign is negative so for the final answer we will get minus sign then the last question we have here is D so minus 50 plus minus 200 and then plus 300 so first I'm gonna solve first two integer you can start from any way you can solve the last two integer it's completely on you you'll get the same answer at the end so here I'm gonna take the first two integer because they have a same sign same sign means we have to add them right so add 50 and 200 when you add it you will get 250 and after adding you have to put same sign like whenever it is same the sign will also remain same since the sign is negative for both the integer we are going to put minus here so minus 250 and the last integer is 300 so plus 300 now you can see the integers have a different sign the one is negative and is positive two different sign means we have to subtract it so 300 minus 250 is 50 so this is equal to 50 but what will be the sign of final answer which number is greater here 300 is greater or 250 is greater it's 300 its sign is positive so we're gonna get plus 50 or you can just simply write down 50 so that's it I hope this questions are it's clear how we have solved and how we have applied the rule to solve them now in case you have any question or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching